Some anti-Clinton protesters believe the United States is too much in favor of the Muslim Brotherhood, and they believe this is because they saw reports online from Michelle Bachman, Frank Gaffney. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, so let's do this story. This is, you know, this is what I've been talking about for a couple of days, the Bachman thing. I didn't realize how urgent it was. And, you know, you do forget that, well, news travels, and look, it's bad enough that um, what America really does and what's really going on uh, is something that we have to contend with. The reality of American policy is hard enough to deal with. So when Michelle Bachman uses her insanity and the uh, the stage it gives her to opine and claims that she is attempting to root out, quote, deep penetration. by the Muslim Brotherhood into the U.S. government. <laughs> Last Friday, she wrote a 16-page letter. Uh, I imagine most of it was, she also probably wrote in the margins of the letter. Explaining and expanding her initial charges of the deep penetration of the Muslim Brotherhood into uh, the U.S. government, it all came from Frank Gaffney, who is this uh, right-wing nutjob neocon who, I mean, it's not like most neocons weren't at least in the um, main discredited after Iraq. This guy was even discredited beyond that for being so insane. She charges that Huma Abedin, who you may have known, uh, who you may know is a top aide to uh, Secretary Hillary Clinton, and also, unfortunately, got some renown as Anthony Weiner's wife. Uh, Anthony Weiner being the former uh, U.S. congressman. She claims that her security clearance, which, you know, she has been, I guess, an aide to Hillary Clinton at least from when the time she was a senator. I imagine also with the time when she was a first lady. Um, despite having family members that uh, Bachman claims are connected to the Muslim Brotherhood. And here is the evidence that she lays out as uh, related by Alex Seitzwald, uh, Seitzwald in um, Salon.com. Abedin's late father, Professor Syed Z. Abedin, and a 2002 Brigham Young University Law Review article about his work are the linchpin of the proof that Michelle Bachman claims that uh, our government has been in a completely deeply penetrated by the Muslim Brotherhood. She says that there was a passage in this article saying that Abedin founded an organization that received the quiet, quote, quiet but active support of the former director of the Muslim uh, World League, which was an international NGO that was tied to the Muslim Brotherhood in Europe in 1970s and 1980s. So let me see if you can follow this. So Abedin is connected to the Muslim Brotherhood. If you go through her dead father to the organization he founded right here, to a man who allegedly supported it over here, sending the support this way to the organization that that man used to lead back over there. And it was also back, historically speaking, on a uh, timeline somewhere back over here. And then that went to the Muslim Brotherhood here. That is what is known as deep penetration, ladies and gentlemen, of the U.S. government. And now we hear that um, part of the reason why 
the, uh, there is anger at the U.S. by protesters in Egypt is that they are concerned that the U.S. is um, being run by members of the Muslim Brotherhood. So there's uh, Michelle Bachman. She has an audience, ladies and gentlemen. She has an audience.